friends, and welcome to Cooking Good with Althea. Today we'll be making one of our favorite drink, our soursop drink. Now, the soursop can be had in two different ways. You can have it with condensed milk, sweetened with condensed milk, or with whatever sugar of choice, organic cane sugar or white sugar with lime and or if you want to use honey you could go ahead depending on how you're going to make it so now if you're using milk it's just milk and the sour sauce with your different spices our spice of choice today is a little cinnamon a little bit of mixed spice and some vanilla um also nutmeg nutmeg um, but if you're making it as a refreshing drink with just lime, you don't need the spices. Just your soursop and lime and maybe a little piece of ginger. That's for a refreshing drink. Um, so, but with the milk, you'll use the spices and nutmeg. Uh, so first we are going to get our soursop wash, then peel the skin off, and then take the pulps out of the seed. This is a job in itself. So soursop is an interesting fruit because it has a lot of medicinal values in it. Um, it's good for your nerve, building your nerves. Also, I heard it's good for cancer and many other things, so it is recommended to drink. When buying a, a sour sup, you always want to make sure uh, it's ripe all over, not just part of it, but all uh, it's fully ripe and ready. So I have washed my sour sup now. I am going to take the peel off. I'm taking the peel off. That's the outer skin. Because this is what we're going to use to make our sour sauce juice. So you have to peel it off or you can cut it off? Well, I, I peel it off. See, it's easily peeled, see? Because it's fully ripe, so it's easily peeled. <laughs> and I'll open it here. Now, when I was a little girl growing up in Jamaica, and I guess you hear of some kids who pee the bed at night, <laughs> uh, they would say if you give them this part of the, the sour sauce and they'll eat on it or suck it, it will help them not to pee the bed. I guess because they say it's good for the nerve or something. So here we have our sauce up, um, clean the skin off. What I am going to do is before making the drink, I have to get all the seeds out. Sometimes for shortcut, what I used to do is put a little water in my blender and kind of just beat it one time because I don't want the seeds to be broken up. But what you do is you take the seeds out because you can't blend it or juice it. In Jamaica, they would, um, growing up, we used to just add water and press on it, press on it. But, you know, some people put it in the blender to help make it a little quicker. So maybe we'll do a, like a Jamaican style and a, one of the quick style nowadays. This is a lot of work, taking the seeds out of the pulp lot of work depending on how many sour sap you're going to use and see I have a lot working with here today because we're making drinks for friends and family so this is going to take me a long time so friends we will come right back to you when we're done cleaning the seeds from all of these sour sap here I have here around seven pounds of soursop cleaned 
Remember now we started out with our sour sap looking like this. We peeled away the skin, also took away the seeds. And this, I think this is the art of the sour sap. You don't use this in making the drink. So we have our seed and it's peeled, and I took out all the seeds. Now back in the days, in Jamaica before we had like blender, you would put your water on and press this out. This is the traditional way. But now, today, I will be using the blender to make things go a little quicker. So it's nice. So I will take some of this here, place in the blender. Remember now we're going to make some with milk and some with lime. So I'll place some here in the blender. I will be blending in portions. So I actually have the blender half full at this moment. And here I have like uh, three cups of water. I doubt I'll be using all this water. So I'll pour the water in here. All right. And then we'll take over to the blender. So I blend it for like 30 seconds. Now I will remove from the blender and bring over here. I'll place my strainer and see, it's nice and creamy. So I'll pour this look like kale juice again. I think a few seeds escaped, <laughs> but they'll, I'll strain them out. So. So you just keep straining because you want to get the liquid down here. Well, we have a seed here. Oh, how did you get away? <laughs> so the strainer will be a little slower going through. Maybe I could have added more water. Because we're going to use lemon in some and milk as well. So we'll show you the hinder product. Remember now, when you're using the lime, you don't have to add the spices. Just your lime and maybe a little piece of ginger and sweeten with whatever sweetener, with um, sugar, whatever type of sugar you want to use, or honey, whenever you're using the lime. But with the milk, you'll use only milk and your spices. And if you want to go ahead and add a little rum at the end of the mix, it will be good. Not too much, just a little bit. But the, the, the sour sap itself has a tangy taste, a little sour taste to it. So it is nice and refreshing. You know, sweet and sour taste, which is very nice. Some people eat the sour sap but just as the fruit not making a drink with it and just eat it like I said before it has a lot of nutritional value to it so and medicinal value as well okay friends I'm done squeezing and straining my sour sap and I have here two pictures of juice now this one I used a little piece of ginger and I will be adding the lime juice, which I have here. I um, juiced about three lime. Um, so this one I will be using for the lime juice, okay? This one here. Then this one over here, I will use in milk and spice. This one here is only lime juice. And I placed a little piece of ginger root also in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my lime juice here. If it needs more, when you sweeten, if you want more and more lemony taste, you could always add as much lime as you want to get the taste that you're looking for. I am going to use brown sugar. This is brown organic sugar. I'm going to use this today. You can always use white sugar 
or honey if you like. You could use honey with the lime. So I'll stir in. And you can add a little um, cap full of rum in there if you want. You're not going to get drunk. Just give the sauce up a little kick. I don't think the sugar is going to sweet as much, so I might have to add some more sugar. But you just sweeten to taste. Right now, we're not drinking too much sweet. I'm going to taste it. Nice. I'm not going to add any more sugar. It's good. That is good. Very good. Nice and tangy, lemony. Tastes good. Well, when this cool, it is going to be so refreshing. All right, so here we have the sour sauce with lime juice and a little piece of ginger. We'll remove this to the side and then go ahead and sweeten the one with the milk. So, okay. First, I am going to, I already cleaned my milk off. I'll open. So that sweet condensed milk? Sweet condensed milk it is. Sweet condensed milk. Oh. And you can always add a little bit of evaporated milk as well when you're sweetening your sour sap juice. one can will do for this amount that I have here so as I said you sweeten to taste sweeten to taste so I'm going to add um, some nutmeg this is one of the spice that I'll be using I think this one goes at, I put this at the last so let me wait a minute I'll add some cinnamon a sprinkle of cinnamon just use according to how you like it. We'll use some vanilla. Maybe like a, a tablespoon. A tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. Could put a little more. Alright, I'll also add some mixed spice. You see the label? Hmm? Mixed spice. Island spice. Mixed spice. Just a little bit, not too much. Because basically it's just a cinnamon and uh, just a sprinkle here. And I will add some evaporated milk. This is optional if you want evaporated milk. You could go ahead and add some evaporated milk as well. If we open this a little bit. then I'm going to add my nutmeg. I have here a tablespoon, but I don't know if I'm, I'll see. Yeah, I'll use all of that. Tablespoon of. I believe we're going to use more milk, depending on how sweet you want your Depending on how sweet you want your drink to be, you always sweeten to taste. Sweeten to taste. So no sugar added with this? If, 
if they like, you could add a little sugar. If you don't have enough milk, you can always add sugar in this one, but I mostly use milk. If you like, you could add a little sugar. Okay, friends, we started out with seven pounds of soursop. The fruit itself, seven pounds of soursop. So after blending, pitting, taking the seeds out, we ended up with two pitchers. And we decided to use milk in one, also lime and sugar. Remember now, you could use honey instead of sugar. And so here we have two glasses. We are going to taste, drink and enjoy. It's on ice, chilled on ice. And you see the difference? The one with the sugar and the one with the milk. Okay, so I can't drink all this alone, so I am going to share with. So cheers. Bless you and bless God for providing us with this beautiful fruit which has so much health benefits, so I think it's going to do some good to us tonight. <laughs> it's good. Re refreshing to the last drop. I didn't get to the last drop yet, <laughs> but it is refreshing. I did put a little piece of ginger, so I'm getting a little kick from the ginger as well, so. And you have the lime one, right? Yeah, this is it with the lime. Tastes good. Nice. I got the one with the condensed milk. It was very good. This is very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Nice and sweet and refreshing. Very good. Wow, can I stop? <laughs> yes, okay friends um, thank you for watching thank you um, for your support and go out and get yourself some sour sauce and make your refreshing drink whichever way you want it whether with lime or with milk it is very refreshing so again I'm sorry to leave you but thanks for watching Remember now to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, or soon again here, all right, drink with me as you go.